Well, we have very interesting updates for you today on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. The subject is new types of insulin, and we've talked about this quite a bit on this uh, channel, but we are really coming to the point where these are going to be available in the store. We have projected dates for you. And then right after that, we're also going to bring you up to date on where Vertex is with some of their therapies and where we are projecting that they will be uh, available for all of us. It's exciting stuff. We got the whole story for you. Hit the like and subscribe button. And let's just jump right into this. Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. The future of insulin, what you need to know. A person with type 1 diabetes can face over 1,800 injections a year. That's a relentless mental and physical burden. But what if we could shrink that number down to just 52 or even zero? The future of insulin is closer than you think. In the next couple of minutes, we're unpacking the biggest breakthroughs heading for pharmacy shelves. Once weekly basal insulins. First up, once weekly basal insulins. Companies like Novo Nordisk and Lilly are in the final stages of testing insulins like Icodec and Efsatora. They use a clever trick to bind to proteins in your blood, ensuring a steady flat release for a full seven days. That means one shot a week, better glucose control, and fewer nighttime lows. We could see these on the market as early as 2025, triple hormone cocktails. Next, imagine a single shot that combines insulin with two other powerful hormones, GLP-1 and GIP. These triple agonist therapies not only manage blood sugar, but also slow digestion, reduce appetite, and can lead to significant weight loss. Lily's version is in trials and could be approved around 2026, offering a powerful tool for both glycemic control and weight management. Section 3. Ultra Rapid Smart Insulins Now for something that sounds like science fiction. Smart Insulin. This is a molecule designed to activate only when your blood sugar goes high and then switch off as you return to a normal range. The goal is to virtually eliminate dangerous low sugar events. Human trials have begun, and while it's a longer term project, this game-changing tech could arrive by 2028. Cell therapies that could end injections entirely. Finally, the Moonshot, a potential cure. Therapies from companies like Vertex Pharmaceuticals are using stem cells to create new, insulin-producing islet cells. These are placed under the skin and for some trial participants have eliminated the need for insulin injections. With an earliest possible approval around 2027 for severe cases, this could truly mark the end of injections as we know them. Conclusion. The century-long era of daily injections is ending. We're looking at weekly insulins by 2025, triple hormone combos in 2026, smart insulins by 2028, and cell therapies that could end the daily burden. Each step represents a monumental leap forward. If you want updates the moment these drugs are approved, drop a question below and hit that subscribe button. The future of diabetes care is arriving fast and it's about to change everything. Well, that's exciting news there. I think it would be wonderful if we only had to take insulin once a week. That could be coming up possibly even before the end of this year. In addition to that, you've got smart insulins that will know when to kick in based on whether your sugar is going up or coming down. That's exciting. Then of course, you know, Vertex is leading the pack, but there are other companies as well. I wanna stress that there are many companies out there that I believe have the technology that is on the cusp. And I think what's gonna happen in the next three to five years, I think you're gonna have multiple companies fighting each other as they come out with a cure. And wouldn't it be nice to have, under your doctor's supervision, three or four choices to cure diabetes? I'm looking forward to it, and I know you are too. We will keep you abreast of what's going on and all the developments here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Until we meet again, stay healthy, and uh, we'll have another video for you real soon.